got all the body parts done, head and body together, two ears, legs, arms, trunk. Actually got some yarn left. Now I'm due to put it together. Doesn't tell you in the instructions how to do this, but normally if you have a kit like this, there will be more instructions in most kits, even the ones I showed you earlier on. You've got a good photo here and just make it look like an elephant, I suppose. The head, in here I have, the, there is some black yarn in the bottom. So you could French knot the eyes on, if you like, or just go around, you know, through your stitches, you can go around and around. If you go in one, come out the other and go like that. I'm going to put British Safety Standard Eyes on. I think these are six mils. I have got, I have a little box here with all bits and bobs of eyes, big ones, where's the diddy ones? There is a couple of diddy diddy ones in here. I couldn't remember if I had any, but and I just found this packet. Now I buy those from local store in the UK called Hobbycraft or online Amazon. Do trim its and these are oh, nine millimeter. I thought they were six. Anyway, the others must be six. I've already put one on, and to kind of judge it, what I did was I just pop one in, use the photograph again, and I'll show you how I'm making it. Can you see here? That's the first decrease in round. You know, you you go from here. You do so many rows, I believe, of just uh, double crochet. And that stitch there is your increased stitch. And so I just looked where they put the eye on the picture. See, that's how I do it. Because I'm not very good. I can make thing, these um, teddies and things. If putting the details on, I, I get a bit flummoxed. That's stuck on now. I've actually put the backing on. I went like that with the ears because again it's not telling you where to position them it's just or how to put them on because I was thinking you'd do that but that looks all right doesn't it for the back and another tip here's a line here and this kind of a line the head here just count the amount of stitches go on the same row across and I've just put some pins in to replicate the other eye and that looks all right, I think. Ta -da. So off camera, I will put that other eye in and then come back. There you go. Bit of a tip, don't crochet right to the top if you're doing safety eyes. That was a bit of a struggle. Now, depending how you like to have, how it feels in your hands, I made all the body parts, I've done the ears, which are in two parts, and then you sew them together. I've weighed the legs with the stuffing in, and the arms, and the trunk. They feel the similar, they weigh the similar, and then the rest of the yarn, do that first, like I said, and then put all the stuff in then in your, what are in your head? You could do a bit more in the head. I have got some spare, I've used it all, you see the packet's empty. It depends how you like your little toy to feel. The body feels pretty firm, so that's not too bad. It's just the head. I may just borrow some from a, a bag upstairs I've got. Now to sew them on, I've got a few under my belt of these toys and things. And I'm just going to, again, copy the picture. That's all I'm going to do. A bit of a tip I picked up. Um, arms and legs some don't say do this but i'm gonna say it leave a long tail and as you can tell you get plenty go backwards and forwards with your needle to close that up and it'll be flat uh, which bit's this this is a leg the legs are longer than the arms and then because it's flat you can it underneath so you got your two legs 
and do the same with the arm. Just push your stuffing down. Don't worry, it's bulging out. This is why I said put small amounts in at a time and then it's easy to manipulate. Do the same with the arms, so backwards and forwards, like that. And then put your arms on. Now some will say, put your arms and legs on first, then do your facial features. So do it that way around if you want. But you see, the pattern doesn't say that. It's only because I've done these things before. And then just put your arms and legs on. Now the trunk. Now, the, now I can put the ears on. Oops. At the back. Kind of cute, doesn't it? The trunk I was going to and I purchased. Um, pipe cleaner. And the reason, doesn't say this on the pattern, I'm just going to do it, is, so it's about the same size, ideally I should have put this in before I put the stuffing in, but I'm going to stuff it down, let me show you, it'll go right to the bottom, let's just take the stuffing out, because I don't know, you know, because the pattern just shows the trunk sticking out, I think that looks strange. Just my personal opinion. And I had an idea of... Let me just get this in. Sticking the trunk in. Now what you can do, just pretend that's in. Let's bend it over. Right? So you put your trunk on. You see that's not squished. So you put that on, kind of in the round keep the roundness there and then just sew around but because I put pipe cleaner in somewhere I might need more than one actually you can manipulate the trunk can't you so instead of it just being down like that I'll show you when I've finished but it was just an idea because if you've got some pipe cleaners if you've got arts crafts in your house just try it and see if it'll work. Because if you've got quite a few together, pipe cleaners, you'll be able to bend. So I think that would look nicer. Kind of bent up a little bit, a bit cuter than just stuck down. And the tusks, well, I don't know. I'll get back to you on that one. I'll see you in a bit. And... Um, See what my elephant looks like. Put the trunk on. I will stuff the head a little bit more because it just feels too squishy for me. And what I did was I got these are from a shop in the UK called Boys. Um, just any old pipe cleaner will do. I got three. Took three. And what I did was to make it so you can bend. The trunk, because one wasn't enough, I just got the three, twisted the top, like so, so it's together, and then braided, a bit tighter than that, but I braided them together, and when they were braided, it kind of just worked out perfect. So you haven't got the sharp bits poking out of the trunk here, or at the head, put them together like that. Bent them over, so they're a bit like that. Put them like that, so it's like rounded both ends. And that height was just perfect enough for the trunk length. I emptied the trunk of all the stuffing. Popped it in. And I wanted the this bit at the top of the trunk. So it doesn't matter for now, because well, you're looking at it. But when you've got it emptied, empty all your stuffing out. Or before you put the stuffing in, put this in and then put, just stuff your stuffing back in. But you, I think you would want that at the top. You don't have to, just try it out. My pipe cleaner's here at the top. Sewn it round, got rid of the tail, and that's where the um, pipe cleaner is and the stuffing's at this side. 
So just pop that in, stuff your stuffing in a little bit at a time, and then sew it on the face. And I think that's a lot better. I think it's still a bit long. But anyway, I'm just going what the pattern says. This is just a true review. This is me doing the pattern exactly as it says, except I've put this in instead of it being straight like that. <laughs> still looks funny. Might look better when the ears are on. Anyway, arms and legs time. I thought I'd show you how to do the leg. Don't know how that's come out. Anyway, I'll stuff it in. So I've done one, just closed it, ready to put on the teddy's bottom. Where you finished off, you want to do corresponding. I don't pull it tight till the end. And then just put corresponding, just holding that down. Tissues. Oops. Next one goes into the next one. Just go backwards and forwards. And do the same for the arms. I mean, the trunk you went in the round so you didn't close it. This is the last pass across. I know there's a couple of stitches left but I've learnt my lesson leave that right there and there don't pull it too tight. There you go and then just pull it gently if you don't want it to pull it in. So that's the legs and do the arms the same and then I'm going to I'll do both the both arms now and then I'll um just pin them on. Just pretend that's an arm. What you can do is use your. I do need to purchase some, but I need to purchase some with bigger heads on for crochet. Bit of a tip: you can get some pins at Boys, the same shop, or Hobbycraft or online. But you want them with a quite a big head on, so they don't go through your work and get lost. I'll do this off camera. A bit of a tip when you're threading in your ends, I've closed the top of the head and what you need to do is just go in and out of stitches backwards and forwards but when you do just don't go too tight. There you go. So generally you can't see the stitches. And then kind of whoops and pull it through gently don't pull it too tight here Ooh. otherwise you get that you get that pinched just pull it gently through and if there's always a little bit left like that I just push it in with my hook you learn these little tips as you go along crocheting that's not too bad, is it? What I did with the legs, I was going to lay them flat, but then I went to the bottom. And a bit of a tip, I had three of the same colour pins. Not that it matters to be the same, it's just it's just how I like to do it. And to get, it, get the legs in line with the arms, because I put the arms on first, I just positioned them before I sewed them on. And then I laid three pins, made an almost straight line like that. And then depending where your thread is, this side or that side, is start and then just go like that in and out. And just catch the top. And then sew it on really tight. I don't do it tight at first, I just loosely do it because then if you need to take it out, you're not pulling stitches so just loosely do it at first when you like the position then you can pull the stitches tight and then just again like I did with the head weave them in and out in and out the I did these out the legs in and out the legs up and down that's why you give yourself a little bit more than normal of a tail and then you can do all the sewing in don't give yourself don't give yourself what's the saying don't keep yourself short 
of the tail ends. Anyway, I've got a bit of a baldy elephant going on. Put the ears on and I'll show you what it looks like when I've done. And somehow we've got to work out the tusks if we put them on because they're on the box. But they're not on here on the pattern. We'll work something out. Well, I finished the elephant. I don't think it looks too bad, actually. Uh, are you ready? There you go. I'll just prop it against there. <laughs> I don't think that looks too bad. The trunk is <laughs> strange. I'm not going to put tusks on. Um, yeah, the trunk, I would have, if I'd have thought about it, I could have done it a little bit stubby. I know tr elephants do technically have a long trunk. If you look at the size of the bodies, you know the length. Um, but anyway, I think that looks all right. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Be nice, please. What you think? to the finished article and as it says on the back not for under 14s and that's because um it's not going to be tested you have to have it tested in the uk to be able to sell these i will obviously either keep this um i've got plenty of adult friends find out if anybody loves elephants anyway i'll put him on my um i'm saying he it could be a she does it matter i'll put it on my Planet Crochet Instagram and uh, see what they think. But I've thoroughly enjoyed reviewing this pattern. Like I said at the beginning, I am disappointed with the instructions compared to previous kits that I have had. I personally am not a fan of Ame Miguri, I think that's how you say it, because one, it hurts my hands because of the um, kind of tense stitching it, that it requires. I do like to use super chunky yarn. I find that, and, and this obviously would be huge then. I might do that actually. Um, but this is the smallest I would actually go to make this kind of thing. Again, the safety eyes, you have to test these in the UK. You can't just sell these things for under 14s. But I think that's too bad. Looks like a bit of a mouse from the back. I'm impressed. And again, the yarn is really nice and uh, soft. The previous kits, all the previous kits I have ever had the yarn, I have literally put it in the bin. Gone. And then when I was disappointed that they came with a plastic hook. Mm. Anyway, like I said, at the beginning, they've changed that up. They've improved on the quality feel of the yarn and the hook. But the pattern, I'm not impressed. I will get on to Aldi's about that. Obviously, it's not them. It's whoever designs this and puts the kit together. Aldi's, I believe, is just the source that sells these pattern, these uh, kits. But I think it's well worth three ninety nine. And if you're new to crochet, you get a not bad two, you know, hook. Uh, it's better than the plastic stuff and a plastic needle. Anyway, that's it for me today. Finally finished. The elephant any names by the way if you want to name this elephant put and put it in the comments below and i'll catch you again on another video bye for now